Hello everyone, my name is Trooper, and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install DPE modes into your guys' 5M server for free and in 2023. The first thing you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below. I'll bring you guys right here to the DPE modes download page. All you guys are going to want to do is head down here to find the download. You should see it right here, a link to his GitHub page. Then go to code and download zip. If it doesn't let you download it as a zip, then make sure you guys actually have a zip compressor installed, such as WinRAR, WinZip, or 7-Zip. So make sure you guys install that first. And if you don't, it's probably going to pop up with a little white page icon, which basically means you won't be able to open it or unzip it. But once you guys have done that, or if you already have one, open up the zip folder. And if you go inside the TP Emotes master folder, you should be able to see there's pretty much everything that you require for your guys' 5M server files. So to install this, what you guys are going to want to do is go back on the download and find your guys' 5M server directory. So for me, that's going to be in documents and then it's going to be under YT server and then TX data, CFX default, and then resources. It might be a bit different for you, especially the naming and the drive it will be in. But apart from that, it should be pretty much the same if you installed a 5M server the same way as me. And the next thing you guys are going to want to do is I'm going to put this under a subfolder since there are two mods that we're going to be installing in a future video to do with DP. So I'm just going to call this folder. I'm going to do a bracket and then DP and then a closing bracket. So basically this is a subfolder, which means you guys will not have to ensure this on your server.cfg, but it basically allows to make your server way more organized. So you can put everything to do with DP inside of this folder. So make sure you guys do subscribe and turn the notification bell on. If you haven't already, stay tuned for when the next video comes out. And that video will be DP clothing, which is basically where you can take your clothes off using a menu and it kind of has an animation. So that's really, really cool. But the next step, all you guys want to do is delete this part right here up to DP emotes, and then very simply drag and drop that into the DP subfolder we just created. Then copy this DP emotes name, go to the CFX default folder where your server.cfg lies, open up your server.cfg, and then we're going to do a, another sort of subcategory in our server.cfg. So to do that, two hashtags and then DP, and then enter. The two hashtags ensure your server.cfg does not read it as a line of code. So you can put anything afterwards and it won't read it. And then we're going to put our code in to ensure, and then control V the folder name, making sure it is the exact same because capital letters make a difference. So if you have a capital letter where it isn't one in the resources folder name, then it will not work. Once you guys have done that, close and save. And now we'll hop in game and I'll show you guys how to use it. Once you guys are in game, all you guys are gonna wanna do is hit F3 on your keyboard or hit Fn then F3 if you have a like 70% keyboard or 60 or whatever. And then it should bring up your DP emotes menu. And from here, you can pretty much do a bunch of things. So you can change your moods. You can be angry if you wanted to. You could be drunk. You can change your walking style. So you can be like Lester where you look a bit, you know, broken in a way. You can be like a trashy homeless man and stuff like that. Swagger, different type of walk styles. You can see now we're walking like a swaggy man with a bit of swag. You can do sexy. Hell yeah. And then you can also obviously do your emotes and you have different sections for your dance emotes. The dance too. And there's actually a lot of dance emotes. You'd actually be surprised. And then your prop emotes. That's basically anything where you're holding stuff. So this has got your backpack on and then you're holding beer on this one. And then obviously you got some shared emotes. So if you're near a person who is also using the DP emotes menu, you can invite them to do a shared emote and it will kind of do an emote that works together. So for the baseball throw, someone will throw a baseball to you and the other player will kind of hit it away. It's pretty self-explanatory. And obviously to cancel them, you can just hit cancel emotes. And that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the basis of it. If you guys also wanted to, you can do T slash DP emotes menu or DP emotes, I think it is. And then that will work instead of using F3. And obviously you can change those in the key bindings, which most of you guys should already know how to do. And if you don't, you can always ask in the comment section. It's pretty simple and I'll explain it to you. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. Comment down below what video you wanna see next. Make sure you turn on the post notifications and then also check out my 5M server, HT Network, if you wanna hop on a server with me. So check that out, it's free to join. It's pretty much LSPDFR, 5PD mod, but you don't have to do anything. You can literally just hop on and be a police officer. There's no whitelist or anything like that. And there's also no cancerous toxicity or anything like that either because it's literally 5PD. So there's no civil role play. It's kind of just being a cop, which is what everyone wants to do anyway. But other than that,
I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.